Hi guys, what's going on? Kyle Krieger here, and today I have a special guest. What's your name again? My name is Nico Tortorella. <laughs> For the second time on my channel? No, like fourth. So basically you do not remember any of the time <laughs> that we spent together. When I was growing up, I was really big in the, I like, well, <laughs> you were really big in the 80s. I was really big in the 80s. <laughs> Today, we're doing a special little video where we are gonna crimp Nico's hair and give him like an 80s look. How much hair have you crimped in your day? Yeah, this is pretty much my first time. <laughs> okay, okay so, so, here, <laughs> that's the wow. What are you gonna do with all this whole situation well, here? See, this is my favorite part about having you on this channel. Is but that your favorite part? Yeah, look how good it looks just by taking off a hat. So, we're gonna, it's already has a little volume. We're just gonna make it more voluminous mm. by adding in the crimp. It's mm. gonna be huge. You're mm. gonna be looking like Madonna Vogue, George Michael Times Share 1989 with like the all black, in one. Black lead. All in one. All in one. It's gonna be everything. Do it. <laughs> okay, let's start. Let's get, what? <laughs> <laughs> let's get started. Let's get started. Since you're like a fashion guy, what uh -huh. is your favorite fashion era? Mm, honestly, I'm just gonna get to work. Yeah, yeah. Keep while you while yeah, you yeah, talk yeah. about yourself, <laughs> I think my favorite fashion era is right now. Really, like anything is kind of free game right now in terms of fashion. If you look on the runways, like everything is happening. Well, that makes even perfect sense that crimping can happen. <clears throat> right, exactly. For boys, it's coming back. It's alive. So I'm gonna spray hairspray on each section that I'm taking. Okay. Just to give it a little bit of hold. Stop it. <laughs> I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Speaking of crazy colors and hair, you've had your fair share of crazy hair. I have. You've had green and silver and blue and yeah. turquoise uh -huh. and pink probably. Yeah, there was a point where I was dying. I was never pink, but I was dying it like once a week. I Whoa. was just getting manic panic and doing it. I'm gonna work. leave some of these straight, I think. Okay. I think it would be cool if some That's of That's the first time Kyle Krieger has ever said that. <laughs> Boy, I mean, this thing is like 250 degrees. That hot. 300 degrees, yeah. Wow. And I'm sweating, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off my harness and my blouse. Oh, she's she's getting undressed. <laughs> Hi. Okay. <laughs> you want this back on? Yeah, of course. I'm just gonna take this little section right here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna like bob and weave up here, just with my little clip. So I have a little bit of like a straight section, and then we have our little gay section here. <laughs> So, what does crypt hair actually make you think about? Like, what do they remind you of? And Monroe. Deep dish and DiMaggio. <laughs> deep dish. Deep dish. Deep dish pizza hut Domino's. And then what else? Marlon Brando, Jimmy Dean on the cover of a magazine. That's what it makes me think of. It makes me think of the 80s. It makes me think of like Madonna, Cher, like growing up, Whitney Houston. I right. want to dance with somebody. Some like Boy George, early 2000s. What? Hillary Duff, Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> Hillary Duff. Butterfly Clips. It makes me think of the Instagram She's Vague where you have like Paris Hilton, you know, in like June. Juicy Couture and BB, <laughs> and like, you know, probably a little bit too much cocaine. <laughs> like a simple life? Like a simple life. Oh, remember. Wait, but are you like more of a Madonna gay or like a Paris Hilton gay, if you had to pick between the two? I mean, I don't want to hate on either of them. Okay, no. Because they are both iconic. However, I grew up- fits better in I mean, I grew up on like, You Drive Me Crazy, Stop Remix, which is basically just You Drive Me Crazy with the stop. <laughs> and like an oops, I did it again. Okay. I don't even know the dance, but- So you're more of a Britney I think I'm more of Britney, but I right. do like love Madonna. If you wanted to have this look, yeah, you would crimp. If you wanted to make it really big, you would then take pieces, which we won't do, Oh yeah, maybe we will. A little bit, a little demo in, in, in the middle. With your comb, and you can just push it down like this gently because you've already fried the hair. Quit teasing me. <laughs> this is what you do like on runway if you want to make a little bit of volume. You can just tease this and make it really big and crazy. I tease my hair all the time. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Whenever I'm doing some sort of pompadour look. Let me so, ask you a question. Okay, hit me. Okay, why do you think it's important for crimping to come back in 2017? Okay, well, we've been seeing it everywhere. I have been seeing it. Have you seen it everywhere? I mean, I've seen it on runway, yeah, yeah. fashion shows, uh -huh. magazines. Campaigns. Yeah. yeah, I mean, what's, it's so cool to look. I just like, I'm so obsessed with it. Do you know what the word crimping actually means? To crimp? No, I'm just, I'm asking you. <laughs> no, but I'm assuming, just knowing you, I'm assuming that you already know the answer. Well, no, I mean, I uh -huh. feel like it probably comes from fashion. Uh huh. Like crimping, you know, textiles of sorts. Uh -huh. What's and, and it actually means like, you know, like to fold on top of each other, uh -huh. to fold ridges into something. Uh huh. Do you feel like crimping should also be a dance that should happen? 
That's a cramp. Oh, I feel like that's already a dance. <laughs> and cramp. <laughs> Oh my God, we're right. Sit down, see that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Too crimp. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of clay. This is from Baxter of California. Move it around in my hand so it disappears. Whoa! Wow. Look at this. You look so cool. Like really? That no, that's me lying. Yeah, I mean that's it. I mean you look like Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, I was gonna say or Johnny Bravo a little bit. Yeah, you look like one of those sheep that has like the massive. Like a ram, you know? Yeah, this is now the animal planet. Okay, so you can wear this up. A mohawk moment. That's a crimp hawk. A crimp hawk. A crimp hawk. A crimp hawk. I feel like. <laughs> you look crazy. Yeah, and you don't even have to do the whole entire head. You can section off a front moment, uh -huh. you can section off a few pieces in the middle. Yeah. You could tie it up. <laughs> you could put a clip in it here. <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. mix and match. See, yeah, I mean that like that's how I would wear it. <laughs> With a clip in there? Yeah, no, no, seriously. <laughs> let's see. Let's put the have you put the whole look together. This is the full look, right? Yeah. I mean it like done, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like literally, I'm in love with it. Good. You never cease to amaze me, Kyle Krieger. You know what? We're just trendsetting here. Just, the... You know, just a little trendsetting. Yeah, no, no, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna model for us now? Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. And Nico, thank you for coming. Yes. Thank, thank you. you for letting us crimp your hair. Always good to see you, babe. Yeah, good to see you. Um, anyway, so if you want to find Nico, I'll put all his links down below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Do you want to show them how that yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, thumbs, thumbs up. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to my channel and find me on Instagram and Twitter, Kyle Cougar Hair. Yeah. And I love you. Goodbye. I love you too. Wait, wait, hold on one oh. second. Can you show, just show us that crimp dance one more time? Never forget. Hashtag. And then it goes down. Hashtag. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you.